Using a mouse for most visual effects tasks is pretty common. Many talented and very capable visual artists use a mouse. I still use it for most things. And until a few years ago, I was using it for 3D animation. I used it for animating my first animated short, Food for Thought. In this video, I want to tell you what happened when I switched to using a tablet instead. I bought a Wacom tablet in my senior year of college. I thought I needed one to be more professional. I wind up only using it for drawing in Photoshop though. I never managed to use it as a mouse replacement for other things. And every time I tried, it resulted in a slower work pace, so I gave up. When I bought it, I thought I'll probably use it for compositing, since I know many people who are working on a node-based compositing software such as Nuke, and a lot of them use a tablet. I never really thought this could be used for 3D animation, since most of it is just moving joints or controls around, which seemed easier with the mouse. After graduation, I was accepted into an animation summer internship at a big New York studio, which was an amazing opportunity. On my first day there, I was seated at my desk, and in front of me was a Wacom tablet. I looked around and saw that other animators were using it too. At that moment, I had to make a decision. Do I stick with the mouse and never give myself the chance to get used to something that might be much better? Or do I take a chance? I decided to go for it. Nobody knew me there or knew what I use, so I just pretended that this is what I use every day. And like in many other cases, necessity brought accomplishment. I was a bit sluggish at first, but I had to push through it. You wouldn't believe how fast I got used to it once I had no other choice. Now you might be asking yourself, why is it better to animate with a tablet? And the answer is because it's faster. Way faster. If you've ever worked with a 3D software such as Maya or 3D Max, you know that you spend a lot of your time looking at the character model and moving its body parts around. Doing that with a pen feels so much more natural than a mouse. It's like touching the model with your hands, with your fingertips. You get more precise with your tweaking and you move around incredibly faster. First of all, let's assume that we're only talking about Wacom tablets, since they clearly dominate the industry. For most uses, including 3D animation, the best choice would be the Intuos model. I use the Intuos Pro, medium size, which features the perfect size and multi-touch surface. If you're on a bigger budget, you can use one of the Cintiq models. That way you can use the pen directly on the screen. I don't think it's necessary for 3D animation, but for 2D, they're a must-have. Other than just starting to use it, the best way to practice and get better and faster with a tablet is to do some exercises. Linda has a comprehensive course for learning how to use a Wacom tablet, but it's not for free. A great free resource is Wacom's learning pages. You can watch some awesome videos and learn the basics on their tutorial page. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and go to blueponimation.com.